Northern California radio talk show hosts Armstrong Getty have been off the air for the last two days uh, and replaced with a best of episode. Uh, this is a result of the fact that on Monday, while discussing the Innocence of Muslims video and the riots that have ensued about it, Jack Armstrong made a comment that people should go and flood YouTube with more uh, anti-Muslim, anti-Muhammad videos and tell these people get over it. Now, uh, this resulted in some group being angry from the Bay Area and a news story, and, and that's apparently what led to them being taken off. Um, th they sent out a tweet just recently about how they'll be back tomorrow and with an explanation. But so far, a lot of people haven't known the full story because Clear Channel, the company that owns uh, Toxic 50 KSTE, removed the podcast. Um, luckily, some people had the podcast re-uploaded uh, re in other places. So uh, this, I know this is a long video, but I think it's important to have all the context. So you're going to hear the entire first segment of the 3rd o'clock hour from Monday, which, which is what resulted in all this drama. And then, uh, and then I'll have a, a response to that. There is speculation that Mitt Romney applied a self-tanner to dye his face brown before addressing a town hall on Spanish-language TV. <laughs> speculation? He looks like my dad's recliner. <laughs> At an AARP conference yesterday, Vice Presidential Candidate Paul Ryan pledged to repeal Obamacare and was booed by the audience. Then Ryan won them back by yelling, Hey, who likes soup? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, anti-old people humor. Um, I was watching the 60 Minutes interview last night because I'd heard people talk about this but hadn't seen it. Mitt Romney is oddly more orange than he has been. It's the summertime. He's been enjoying the sunshine. Uh, it's actually fall now. It's been summer for quite a few months, so that would have made sense it's three months ago. It's late summer when people tend to be at their oranges. <laughs> <laughs> Colbert had the side-by-side couple days before the Univision thing and then the night of the Univision thing. There's a definite difference. Now, John Kerry went through the same thing. Is there something that goes on when you're running for president that you go through an orange period? I don't know. Or, or, or makeup? Uh, you have a bad week of makeup or something? Because remember, know. John Kerry was orange briefly when he was running for president. Maybe they give you, maybe the Secret Service gives you a series of inoculations <laughs> so they can't get you with, you know, uh, biological weapons or something that turns you orange. I don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> So you're worried about his color. Meanwhile, the president is apologizing for freedom of speech and tacitly implying to Pakistan that we're trying to roll back freedom of speech for you. Give us a little time. Like he told Putin, I'll have more flexibility after the election to roll back the First Amendment. Can we come up with the, um, I should have asked for this earlier. We ought to have Dr. Z to the White House. Dad's got no time for Netanyahu. Maybe you meet with the Zawari. Maybe I've already got it in front of me and I just haven't seen it. The text of that ap apology ad that we ran in uh, Pakistan on Friday, paid for with your tax money, the State Department's idea, $70,000 ad buy, to say, sorry about that video, it is really awful, and I'll tell you what, we're disgusted by it. Um... It would seem to me, and I, got, I, I was just getting so worked up on Friday watching things blow up, watching these complete lunatic savages tear apart movie theaters because they, they show Western movies. Oh, Lord. All in the name of this movie. There, there, there's like two things going on here. On one hand, um, the movie was not responsible for our ambassador being killed. That was an Al-Qaeda attack. Right. And that needs to be paid attention to. But this movie does have a lot of people angry, and that needs to be paid attention to, because that shows you how crazy they are. Mm -hmm. And the all, it would seem to me the only response to this is to flood YouTube, flood the world with cartoons and movies and songs saying bad things about Muhammad until they finally grow up and realize, eh, what difference does it make? That's like just your opinion, man. Right. In other words, free speech. They yeah, get used in other to words, the idea the of free speech. World. The, Join it. It's fun. I can't see. I can't come up with any other way to fight this other than, you know, and I, and it's, it just it's crazy to me. So we run this ad by apologizing. Really? Uh, you think there's not going to be another YouTube video within 48 hours oh, saying please. something bad about Muhammad? Please. Obviously. God, if I was Dr. Z 
If I was a terrorist, I'd create a YouTube video and claim it came from Omaha just to have a reason to blow something well, up. Well, right. It's a, it's a paradox, this ad. The message of the ad is, look, it's just, you know, one guy and a couple people cranking out a YouTube vid. So we're very, very sorry it happened. Well, wait a minute. How can you be very, very sorry if it's just one guy cranking out a YouTube bid, it's going to happen again tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. I'm horribly disappointed that it hasn't. I'm horribly disappointed that there aren't thousands of Mohammed mocking videos out there on YouTube right now. We can make one right now, Jack. Well, we're not you? anonymous and I don't want to get my head cut off. No, there's no way I would do that. <laughs> but no the anonymous uh, y- y'alls, you sign on as, you know, likes to golf three. You know, okay, great. They're not going to track you down. Everybody do it anonymously. The guy down in uh, SoCal who put together this uh, this stupid video tried to do it anonymously. But we, we just need to swamp the world with cartoons and videos. There'd be no reacting to all of them. That, that well, seems to or- me like the only way to fight this and, and the easiest Nonviolent way to fight it. Or the great clash of civilizations would uh, begin in earnest. Okay, let's get it on then. <laughs> let's ex- get it. That's exactly my thoughts on Friday. I was watching this. We flood the world with these cartoons and videos. They either grow up and join the 21st century or we get it on, in which we will emerge the victor. So take a suck of that. Well, yeah, I do. let's get on it now before we do any more backpedaling and apologizing and letting the uh, sides get a little more equal. God, it's disgusting. We're so sorry. We're so sorry somebody made this video. Our phone number is 1-866-331-TALK, 1-866-331-TALK. Unbelievable. 1-866-331-TALK. Toll free. Toll free! People still say that all the time. What does a phone call cost? You can call the moon. It'll cost you 11 cents. This has been our stance more or less since 9-11, though. It's not just an Obama administration thing. We've been doing the, we're so sorry, we understand you're a religion of peace and we shouldn't do this or say yeah, that. Or- it's a religion of submission by the way, not of peace. Um, yeah, you're right. And you know what? It was probably worth trying. It was worth sure. extending the old olive branch. I agree with that one. They Pete. set fire to the olive branch. I agree with that. I, I mean, I, 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 oh, a lot of people like to beat up Barack Obama for his Cairo speech that he gave when he first came into office. And, Including me. And uh, I, I, it th- 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 didn't hurt to give it a whirl. And having read the book, I know that while he was giving the speech behind the scenes, they were working actively on the... The, the computer viruses and increasing the drone campaign and everything else. We thought, eh, you know, we'll give it a try. Maybe it'll like us better than they liked uh, George Bush. And it turns out that didn't work. But, man, this this reaction on Friday, that I don't know who directed that. I don't know if Barack Obama had to sign off on it, but just a terrible idea. Terrible idea. Bruce and Sack is on the line. Hey, Bruce, what's on your mind? Hey, hello there. Hi. Uh, yes, I have a, a suggestion about uh, this the Mohammed video stuff we do. There's an excellent video on YouTube. Well, actually, the Muslims mo- removed it, but uh, someone made a copy of it. What do you mean and, the Muslims removed it? Well, th- th- through threat. Uh, but it's an excellent video. It's called Everyone Loves Allah by a guy named Venom Thing X. Of course, I you can't get through Venom Thing X. Anymore, so we can just Google. People should Google. Yes, Everyone Loves Allah, too. Actually, everyone loves all the two because there's the first one too, but the second one's far better. Is it like uh, The Godfather where the sequel's every bit as good, or is it kind of a drop off in your opinion? <laughs> well, I don't know. I actually thought the first one was better than the second one, is the Godfather thing goes. But anyway, I'm just saying, though, it's a lot like uh, the one that's causing the, the Muslims to go crazy with this uh, Innocence of Muslims video. Right. Okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, somebody make a mental note of that or jot it down or something. Uh, Have you s- something did, I'd like to see that. Did you see any of the video of Friday of various nut jobs doing various nut job things? Yeah. I mean, beating on cars with with uh, with with bats and setting them oh, on fire. God. Just the rage on their Acting face. Acting like gorillas. Just the rage you could see in their eyes. Uh, over, look how devout I am. Look how devout I am. A YouTube video. I mean, you, there's there's no there's no way to combat that. There's no oh, running. actually there is. <laughs> well, yeah, there is. But there's no there are no uh, there are no apologies that are going to do any good. There's no. Oh yeah. We're sorry. One person somewhere in the world made a video that what? offends you. Take it away! Take it away! Ahmad, Ahmad. They just apologized. Oh, oh, oh well. Put out the effigy, would you? There's somebody might get hurt with the fire. You sound no, like apology a, accepted. Is that Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, now? that's a Middle Eastern man! <laughs> Clearly, look 
Get me! I'm on my camel! See, I'm wearing a... sheets! It sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger no, for a second. No, not at all. <laughs> Like, yeah, so anyway, uh, my uh, fabulous portrayal, like an apology is going to settle him down. The guy set a car on fire, and he's now beating the flaming car with a burning effigy of the president. You think he's looking for a heartfelt apology? No, these, God dang these it. These kids I saw in this movie theater on the news Friday, they looked like they were teenagers trying to rip the seats out of the movie theater, and it's on fire and beating on the screens. I mean... What are you going to do? So you're going to run an ad saying, we in the United States are very sorry that YouTube video was so offensive, and we'll try to do better in the future. I mean, what the, what, what? That's the way to handle that situation? Richard and Sacto. Hey, Richard, go ahead. Right, well, over the break, there was a little clip from Hillary saying that we espouse democratic ideals. I, I didn't catch all of the words. So I wonder why her State Department is then putting out the video in Pakistan, if to the United States, she's talking about how we support democracy and freedom of speech and everything. I think one was a political reaction to the backlash in America. Yeah, I think they're trying to have it both ways, and, you know, I can't blame them. It's probably not a terrible idea. I, I want to dig up the text of the uh, the apology ad we ran in Pakistan. Have that for you coming up. I've got a bunch of calls, one 331 talk Some of you people that are good with a computer, make an anti-Muhammad ad. Post it to Al Jazeera. We need to swamp them with ads until they just got to grow up or something. Yeah, we'll get a translation of that ad that ran in Pakistan. It features the president and the secretary of state denouncing the Internet movie. Oh, my God, just capitulating, apologizing to the angry mobs. Phone number is 1-866-331-TALK. You're listening to the Armstrong and Getty Show. It's always... Well, there you have it. That's the entire context of, uh, well, not the entire context. You'd have to have listened for years, but that that's a big chunk, whereas uh, the people who are angry are only citing uh, small quotes, snippets from even that 10 minutes. Um, I feel no need to give my own personal response other than to say that this YouTube uh, channel is my full uh, name. Um, so I'm going to now play a clip that uh, from Penn's Sunday School, which aired on Sunday, the day before this incident took place. Um, and accompanying it, I will have a very selection of images depicting the uh, Muslim prophet Muhammad. Um, so that's it. Uh, I, I think this is all crazy. Um, the people who are writing are crazy people. They're the ones who need to be dealt with, not Muslims. It's not a Muslim thing. It's a crazy people person thing. That's what needs to be dealt with. Sticks and stones can break your bones. Names will never hurt you. People need to get over it. So, enjoy. And I just want to say, I'm, I'm, I'm not the one. I, I saw that on uh, on uh, Real Time with Bill Maher. Mm -hmm. um, there was a, uh, they had Salman Rushdie on Friday, mm -hmm. and he was talking about um, uh, what's happening with the uh, terrorist attacks um, sure. in, in the Middle East. And if you want to know anything about that, you go to Salman Rushdie. I mean, uh, you don't, there's no reason to hear what I have to say about that when you've got the guy. You sure. Know, the guy that knows everything. The guy who was raised Muslim or raised in a Muslim cu culture. He's, I, it, the book makes very clear that his, his dad was an atheist, mm -hmm. but um, raised in a Muslim culture and has studied, you know, a university, studied, uh, studied this. You don't need me to say anything about this when you have Salman Rushdie, but I you wish. You can't stop anyway. <laughs> I wish we would just stop talking about what the rape victim was wearing. Yes. Just sure. cut that out. Mm. Every single newscaster says, you know, this horrible 14-minute film, which sounds to me, when they talk about the, uh, the, 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 uh, the video that they claim set this all off, it's exactly like saying, you know, she was dressed really slutty, but she still shouldn't have been raped. You know, she was wearing a really short skirt, but she still shouldn't have been raped. You do not ever say a word about what the rape victim was wearing. It doesn't matter 
if she was naked with a sign above her head that says, fuck me, it is still rape. It doesn't matter if she was a prostitute. It is still rape. And not only is it still rape, but you also do not mention, you do not blame the victim for the crime. You do not say she shouldn't have been wearing that short skirt at that time of night walking in that neighborhood. Because what we are trying to be as civilized people is people who women can walk dressed anywhere they want, anywhere they want, any time they want, because that is part of an individual liberty that must be protected by civilization. It does not matter what they say bothered them that insulted Islam. The fact is, we do not live in a theocracy. We do not have those rules. We have freedom of speech. It doesn't matter whether they were upset by this 14-minute film or whether they were upset by uh, gay marriages. Or they were, you don't even mention what they were upset about. They killed an ambassador. Right. End mm-hmm. of story. I don't want to hear any more about, oh, but that skirt was just so far above her right. knees. It's really, you know, you can understand why. No, we can't understand why they did it. Rape is wrong 100%. Yeah. There, is no, there is no way to mitigate it, and there is no way that the family of the rape victim goes, oh, she, oh, she was a little out of line. She kind of dressed a little bit sedu- No, it doesn't matter what she was wearing, and it does not matter what they say bothered them about the, the United States culture. It does not matter whether the movie was good, bad, or indifferent, or even existed, or whatever. If the filmmaker lied to the actors... <laughs> <laughs> like that's like that's unique in this case. Um, then maybe there's internal stuff to do there. Nothing to do with killing the ambassador. And I, that's all I'm gonna. Everything that's sensible that gets said about that. Everything that gets said about that. That's that's uh, that's. Um, why doesn't our president say that? Why doesn't uh, why doesn't Romney say that? Why doesn't somebody just go? Hey, you know what? This is our life. We're not we're not playing by we're not in that club. I mean, really, we're yeah. going back to the Rob Pike thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, well, Salman Rushdie, Salman did yes, of d- course. does say this, and Bill Maher says that uh, p- pretty much straight out. Uh, and uh, it's not uh, you know the free. There are people who are freedom of speech nuts, and they're all kind of saying that. But the reg- I mean, every single article in the New York Times, I believe every one that I've read, has said you know disgusting fourteen minute film, uncalled for, insulting. Amateurish for to, uh, why even say Amateurish. why even say anything about it? You know, they they were upset because they have this culture that is different from ours. We have freedom of speech, and many, 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 many people have fought and died for that freedom of speech. And we don't just piss it away in one sentence by saying, "Hey, she wasn't wearing a bra." No, it, nothing to do with any of that. 